The goal of every creator is to get more people to watch their content and to subscribe to their channel and I'm sure this is the goal for you also as it is also my own goal. In this video I'm going to teach you the practical ways on how to optimize your content to get more people to view your content and also subscribe to your channel. Okay so for the sake of this lesson I'm going to be making use of this platform called vidIQ to teach you on how to optimize your content. vidIQ has the free version and the paid plan. I will advise you to use the free plan. It gives you almost the same thing there is no difference okay, you already have a niche okay so the first thing you have to do is to think about a topic to create around your niche but if you don't have a topic already you can go over to the research keywords area and see the list of trending topics on your niche i know that youtube algorithm sometimes gives you videos on your feed according to what is trending on your niche okay so but if you don't have this you can still go over to your video iq on the research keywords area like this to see what is trending on your niche so we have filter by overall but as a beginner as a growing channel you have to filter your own by competition and filter by search volume so to give you the exact number of people searching for that topic so you have to go by filter by competition and according to the search volume of people searching for that content and once you click on the competition you're going to see if the competition is already high to know if your content can perform well this is where you see if people are creating content around this and if it is high already so the ones with high competition you have to skip it because if you use if you go for the ones with higher competition your video might not have a chance to go viral or trend it is only bigger channels that already has reputation on youtube that can use the high competition keywords and their content will do very well but if you're a growing channel or a small channel that doesn't have the reputation or the audience yet you have to go for the medium competition keywords and also the low competition keywords so you have to skip the ones this ones with high competition keywords and go for lower competition keywords. but if you have your topic already all you have to do is to twist your words and search for it on the research keywords area and see the possible keywords and the possible things that that people are searching for remember that every content on youtube youtube is optimized for search people come every day to search for things that they want to do so no matter the niche you are even vlogs have people searching for a particular content that they are creating okay it might be about asmr stuff like that okay no matter the content you're creating it should be optimized for search and because when people search for things youtube starts feeding their timeline their feed with whatever things that they are interested in so when you optimize your content for search and for a proper search with a proper keyword your content is going to be recommended recommended for people on their feed on their home feed like this okay so no matter the content you're creating you should optimize it there is another thing sometimes when i want to create a video and when i search the available keywords on vidIQ some of them are always with high competition okay so what i do is that i go over to facebook use your facebook your meta ai you know meta ai it is actually free so once i go to my facebook meta ai i communicate with it as though it is human what i do is that i provide the ai with the prompt of the topic that i want to create okay what prompt means is that you will give the ai the ideas or what you want to talk about how your video is going to go okay you provide it with the ideas and it's going to provide you with possible topics to create your content around okay so once it gives me that topic i will head over to vidIQ and research for those keywords and i will make sure to filter it by competition and search volume to see if it is low medium or competitive okay so sometimes i go for the medium competition because it is almost related to low competition okay so now the search volume is also very important because the more people search for a particular topic the higher chance your content gets to run on the side now all these keywords are very important all the medium keywords and the low keywords okay because this is what you'll be copying to your description box when you're writing your description okay? because what you have in your description box is what the algorithm is going to use to suggest your content to rank it on the search bar and to recommend it to people okay so this is where the optimization comes in when you are done with researching all of those keywords you're going to come to your description box and construct a sentence with few of those keywords that you researched okay look at how you're going to do it okay because this i am talking about search engine optimization i am going to write it this way i will get all of those related keywords and put it 
in a sentence once i finish writing them i'm going to copy some of my video links the video links, links that i have done before i posted on youtube i'm going to include them in my description so after i have included them in my description i'm going to come down and give a little bit gap so once you come down and give a little bit gap you're going to write a subheading keyword slash tag so you're going to head over to your notes those keywords that you copied from your vid iq you're going to copy all of them and because you pasted them on your notes before you're going to go over to your notes and copy all of them and paste it directly down below your description okay so it might look a little bit cluster but you don't have to worry about that okay with like you already included commas on it for you automatically it has commas okay so you're just going to paste it that way down the description box come over to the hashtag we'll be creating hashtags from these keywords that we copied from vidIQ, okay? But your hashtag should not be more than 15. According to YouTube, your hashtag should not be more than 15, okay? But for your first three hashtags, should be part of those keywords that you created, okay? So once you see, you're going to use those keywords and form your hashtag. The only thing is that you'll be including hash on it, okay? So, but it shouldn't be more than 15. Then your first three hashtags should, should be the most thing that you think people might be searching for when they're when they are searching something on the side but the first three hashtags should be very important and you should select those ones carefully your other keywords can be as many as you can include so many you just have 5,000 words to write on your description so you can use as many keywords as you want but for your hashtag it shouldn't be more than 15 okay then we'll head over to the tags you know we have tags then we have hashtags so hashtag is different while tags are different also so we are going to talk about tag you don't repeat two hashtags at the same time your hashtag shouldn't be repeated more than once okay according to youtube you are not meant to repeat your hashtags two times okay but for your clustered keywords that one doesn't matter you can repeat it as many times as you want okay but for your hashtag you should make sure you don't repeat one keyword two times after doing all this then save your description box and save it so after saving it you then post your video okay remember your title is part of the seo so you'll be including you'll be using some of those keywords to form your title it might not be the same but make sure you include those keywords in your title because once people search on youtube and search for a particular thing on youtube if your title has some of those keywords that they searched the algorithm is going to point them to your video so you're done doing this you're going to save it and post it okay and remember your thumbnail is part of your seo so make sure you make an eye catchy thumbnail so that people can get attracted to it and click on your video so fast okay so after doing this after you have posted your video you head over to your creator studio so this place you're going to set you're going to go to that video that you have already posted and edit it so once you do that you're going to edit it and go to the category area like this you set the category according to your initial so I'm going to set this according to my niche, which is how to. Okay, but if you're into vlogs, you're into entertainment, you're into comedies, some of those stuff, you're going to set it according to your niche, okay? Then you go down to your tags and add tags. You're going to add tags with some of those keywords that you researched for, okay? You're going to add tags, but don't make it too much. Don't include too much tags on it, okay? So I'm just going to copy a few of those keywords and paste okay and then save trust me once you optimize your content very well you're going to get recommended your videos are going to perform very well and you're going to rank on the search bar and get recommended by youtube remember some content some videos takes days to perform very well because i remember my last video on how to stream silence live using restream app to get watch hour they didn't perform immediately because people were researching for it at that time so it actually took one week before that video started performing because that was when people started searching for it but because i optimized it very well youtube started recommending it to people on their home feed because that was what they were searching for and it's also ranked in the search bar and there are so many people that actually did that same content with me at that time but because they didn't optimize their content very well they didn't get recommended or pushed to the home feed according to youtube okay so you need to take your search engine optimization because that is the key in getting viral on youtube and getting recommended by youtube this is basically what i do to get my content to optimize my content and to get people to view my content so trust me if you pay attention to all these things and implement it on your own videos on your own content you're going to see a very big change remember some might take gradual process but 
once you start implementing this thing you are going to notice a very big difference and again before when i started youtube newly my content wasn't performing very well because i wasn't doing any of these things but immediately i paid attention to my search engine optimization i noticed a very big difference and it was actually amazing each time i go to my creator studio to check how people were viewing my content to the, according to the traffic source i noticed that i get more views through recommendation and on the search bar and this is basically because i optimized it very well i optimized my content according to youtube and if i go to my monthly recap what youtube tells me about my content and they actually suggest that i optimize it very well okay so this is to tell you that optimization and optimizing your content is very key on youtube okay so pay attention to this here is another thing once you post a video pay attention to your creator studio your youtube studio okay because this is basically where you get all the information you need for each video i post i make sure i go back to my creator studio to monitor it on and sometimes when i notice that my videos are not performing very well i check and youtube normally tells me okay your video are getting wider audience but they are not clicking on it you might try changing your thumbnail and once i see that i go ahead to redo my thumbnail and post again and afterwards i will notice a very big change okay so you need to pay attention to your thumbnail even while you're optimizing your content because that is one thing that people see before they can even click on your video okay so even when youtube recommends you because after you have done all of those things you are definitely going to get recommended so once they recommend your content to people's feed it is another thing to get them convinced to click on that video okay so once you get your thumbnail very well you make it eye catchy straight to the point they are going to click on it okay there is how they do all those things make sure your thumbnail is very direct it explains what you have in your video okay so once you do all of these things you're going to notice a very big change remember everyone keeps learning every day on youtube so if you notice a particular trend or if you notice that this is what this person is doing to perform well on their content you have to implement it on your own to see if it's going to work for you okay so you don't have to relax there's only big creators that can just do anything and get away with it but for growing creators you need to do some things to see your content perform very well this is the end of this video and i am very sure you learned something very big in this video and i trust you're going to implement it on your own content going forward if you have any question that you need to ask me please do well to ask it on the comment section because i always reply my comments to see if there is anything you need help with okay so ask those questions and if you have any video ideas that you might want me to create please do well to write it down on the comment section please make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel see you in my next video bye